Halbfinale auf der European Tour erreichen können. Das war in Riesa 2016. Aktuell steht er auf Weltranglistenplatz Nummer 82. Die Rede ist von Jordi Meuse. Jordi Meuse tritt an gegen die Nummer 37 der Welt. Ein Spieler, der in seiner Karriere sieben Turniere hat gewinnen können auf dem PDC-Circuit. Der Mann hat in seinem Leben sieben Kinder gezeugt und das Besondere ist, er ist auf dem rechten Auge blind. Und das hier beim Mentalsport, das bei diesem Konzentrationssport Darts. Herzlich willkommen, Jabba Jamie Caven! Well, no wonder Jamie Caven's dancing. He's a happy man after his week so far. From absolutely nowhere, Caven produced his best run at a PDC ranking event for more than a year and a half to bring to an end a rancid run of form, if we're honest. And he has snuck into the Players' Championship finals in Minehead. It was a semi-final on Wednesday where Caven managed to pick up three grand, which just snuck him into the top 64. Beat the likes of Adrian Lewis, Big John Henderson, Daryl Gurney. I mean, they are some victories. And it came from absolutely nowhere. Now, if Jamie Caven is going to go and make the European Championship, he's going to have to have a run to a final. Again, from pretty much nowhere. But he is a man who's made a final of a European Tour event before to the Austrian Darts Open, beaten by Vincent van der Voort three years ago. As for Jordi Maywis, uh, well, this is a man who is struggling to keep hold of his tour card. In fact, it looks like Jordi Maywis' tour card is terminal. But... Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg is Jordi to throw first. Game on. May we say the Dutchman has the throw in this opening leg. It's me, Dan Dawson, in commentary alongside Paul Nicholson. And it's going to take something magical from either of these men to make the European Championship. 100. But strange things happen. Oh, yes. Final weekends or final days of qualifying, they just bring up some great stories. 100. Jamie has just added to that in the last couple of days. But we could talk about the... Steve Farmer from Newland 100. when he won the tournament to knock out Mark Webster for the Grand Prix by 50 pounds. That's the worst one. 21. There are other things that have happened in the past. I remember Jamie Lewis getting his debut at the World Match Play, knocking Michael Smith out 42. by 50 quid or something like that by making a final of one of these European Tour events in Gibraltar, was beaten by the power, Phil Taylor. But again, 45. Jamie Lewis, a guy who we knew had talent, but he hadn't done anything like that before. And Jordi Mayweather so does have a quarterfinal on a European Tour event on his CV. Admittedly, he got a bye through one of the rounds. But he has made the final session of action before. Yeah, it was back in Rissa last year. Yoli Rikar, 160. A very good tournament that was ultimately won by Mensa Zulevic. Now, it just amazes me. It feels like two minutes ago that Yoli was getting his tour card. How just over 18 months can pass so quickly. Well, that's it as well. I mean, Yoli caught a finalist on that European tour event. and 87. Yoli Rikar, 60. Not a great deal else over the course of that year. Not a great deal this year. But he in gets the opening the first leg. Yoni Mawisa sent like his Jamie to throw first. Game on. Now, a lot of people at home would probably say to us, well, yeah, there's a lot of good players out there. And yes, there are a great deal of world-class players. And 82. Make no mistake, Yoni Mawisa is a great player. When you watch him closer, we just think, well, how can he miss? But the thing is, fine lines 60. over the course of two years can make a huge, huge difference. Losing six fives on the Pro Tour, not getting through to European Tour events because he's been so close so many times this year, Yori. But, yeah, we haven't seen him for a little while. Well, in actual fact, this is his first okay. this year and... When your luck's not in, your luck's not in. 60 on the floor for Maywisser. Yeah, first time we've seen him this year. The last time he qualified was the last event of last year, the 
German Darts Championship in Hildesheim, won by Alan Norris. 135. Certain players having agendas this week. What about Alan Norris's agenda about defending 25,000 ranking points on his 96. running order of merit? I mean, there's a fair whack of that to go if he doesn't win. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Oh. 117. Hideous had, deflection. We had the X, the Y, and then there was the Z. <laughs> Strange throw. But he's still got the advantage, Jamie, here. 58. Jamie requires 70. And one thing we saw from Jamie a couple of days ago was aggression. Is he going to bring the aggressive game today? Double 16. Game yeah, that's on the great. Second leg. A Jamie very Taylor. tidy 15 Perfect dart leg. To throw first. Game on. No one's ever doubted Jamie's talent, have they? It's absolutely extraordinary talent. 60. A bucket load of titles. Maybe one of the most underestimated title winners, multiple title winners in the PDC's history. Well, we talk about 57. how impressive it is, how tough it is to win PDC titles. Jamie Cavan has seven of them. Now, and he's also one of the guys who's won two in a weekend. 96. And I know some people put little asterisks and caveats. Oh, well, certain players weren't there for some of those. Doesn't mean win two in a weekend. That is very, very impressive stuff coming through a field of... 128, as you see that snarl from Caven there. They don't give these out. 59. Let me talk about people fighting for certain things this week. Jamie Caven, I think, before Monday started, when we had the World Series qualifier, 135. he said to himself, get out, get out there and fight for it. And he left nothing behind. And you've got to give him a lot of credit for that. He was in games with informed guys. He you know, played Daryl Gurney mm. on Wednesday. You know, you know how hard it is to beat Daryl right now. But it's a sight of Jamie that I've never seen before. And he just went out there and he's scrapping for his life. And you've got to admire it. Yeah, you really do. And I commentated on his game the day before on the Tuesday. And he went out um, in ridiculous Jamie circumstances, which I'll go into in a minute. But to bounce back from that and then produce the semi-final one that he needed. Double 12 is what he needs now. And that's he a break of throw and a 15 data. And Caben, this is what Jamie Caven, at his best, can do. He's not, he's not really ever been a guy who's going to go an average in the 100 teens. And you think, it, how do I live with this? But he is very, very good when he's 100. playing well of just going 15 data, 15 data, 15 data. And it's, it's difficult. It is like playing a computer sometimes. Because you get into a rhythm, you can take your things out under pressure. And he is, he's very much a, he's kind of a feel player. He's, he doesn't even see the dart in his hand before he lets go of it because he's blind in that eye. 140. So he's doing it on how it feels to release the dart and muscle memory and I mean that's got to be the definition of a field player you're not you're actually looking at it when you're throwing at it it's just a sensation that's a sensational first dart not by the second 140 I need to be disappointed with the third but there was a slight kiss on those two darts but He's in command in this leg. He's taken this game by the scruff of the 41, neck in the last couple Jamie of legs. Carl, 121. Doesn't have to go the bull route here. And yes, you've got 106, Jamie. Trouble 18 will be his target now. 53. Nothing to panic about because he has a sizable advantage. And Yordi will be frustrated that he's not putting pressure on the Jamie Caven darts right now. But look Jamie what he's doing these last 68. three legs. After 12 darts, he's left 70, 75, now 68. He's taken out the two previous ones. Okay, well, that's not so bad. He was looking at eight for tops, but double eight. Well, he's left next door, but he is going to come back. He does do a lot of double doubles in exhibitions, Jamie. I've, I've seen him do them against me, but you don't do them on the European tour. That was just <laughs> a flyer. 58. Jamie requires 32. He won't care as long as he hits this one. He's got six darts for it. 
Is that tricky? It might be now. No score. And he needs a second visit. Thank goodness that Jordi Mewisa has not scored well in this leg. Yeah, that's the thing. Even if your opponent does race up out of the blocks, Jamie you've got to 32. try and be putting pressure on for these situations. You don't want to keep missing because it could affect the rest of the match. Game shot on the ball so by out. Jamie you can tell by the shake of the head of Kevin that he wanted to get rid of that a lot sooner. But it doesn't matter, Jamie. You've still got that 3-1 lead. jordy has been on the tour a couple of years now as he One missed out on his first 180 of this one. But although he did have a quarter final on the Pro Tour earlier on this year, as we've said, it's not been an unqualified success for Jordi. I mean, he's well out of the position 85. for retaining his tour card and that's one of the reasons with Jamie going out first and second round so often as well they've not really been running into each other so they haven't clashed 17. in a professional game until today do you think it's just been a consistency thing with Jordi because the talent is there he's got a lovely angle for his dart when it enters the board he's got 16. very good escape, uh, scoring capabilities but maybe Consistency has been the issue. Look at that. It's a beautiful angle. 16. To bounce them into each other and use the advantage of what could be a very first start. A lot of one as you'll see from him. But maybe this match has been very symptomatic of what's gone wrong. 100. In the last few months. Now he has to switch because he can't see that trouble 20. 96. Jamie looking to leave a favourable number, and that is very useful. Single 19 would have left 160, but 122 is a lot easier. Would have been bullseye for Jordi if he had hit that 60. 63. Jamie's going to be looking at the 18s. Four 18s leaves the ball. Oh, and that's gone. Seventy-eight. You only require seventy-two. But there's pressure. Seventy-two. Double sixteen. Another single. These double top. Game shot on the fifth leg. Yoni Very Mayweather. well done. He's not had many dots in the double in the last four legs. Yoni Mayweather. But he gets one there and takes it to cut the gap. You can just see from his demeanour that he's trying to amp himself up. Just get a bit more vocal. Maybe he's in the same sort of camp as Dirk van Dijvenborde. People who need to be really revved 16. to play their best stuff. Well, this is a different atmosphere today. We talked in the last match with Rob Malarkey that you've got to be able to play the quiet Friday as well as the madness of Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, well, the Saturday and Sunday have been... Rare occasions for these two for quite some time. Mayweather puts in a ton 40. I mentioned Jamie Caven going out in ridiculous circumstances on the Tuesday. It was against Willie O'Connor. And he had a chance to win it 6-4. Jamie Caven had 91 left. 99. Managed to bust his score on 91. Then came back, hit ball. 17, needed double 12, missed it by a yard. Lost the leg, that was fine. And then Willie just took the game away from him. And he thought that that was the chance. He was in a board final at Caven. Oh, well, there we go. Doesn't need to go to 18. So sensible stuff from Caven. That was the chance. Caven in a board final against an unseeded player. He's got a chance to win the game. And he didn't take it. And that was his hopes of going on run. Ended. Who gave Jamie Caven a chance the next day? But he picked himself up off the canvas. And went to get And that was very eight. impressive. Jamie and that's yeah, it's amazing how things happen sometimes, isn't it? Because after that, Willie O'Connor made a semi-final of his own. 85. If you speak to a lot of people who have won tournaments or gone on deep runs, they will give you an example of a game where I shouldn't have won that one, mm. be it a first-round match, a second-round match, or a board final. They may have been nowhere. 57. But they've managed to win it. And then after that, you get a totally different mental state as if to say I shouldn't even be here 
So why don't we just play it like a bonus? Well, I think 16. you look at the last Pro Tours, Johnny Clayton came through 6-5 against Rob Cross on Wednesday, and I believe Rob Cross mismatched darts in that one. Rob Cross himself, just before 83. the Grand Prix, when he won his fourth PDC title, I believe he uh, survived match darts from James Wade earlier in the day. So you do get slices of luck. It's about what you make of them afterwards. 81. Nobody will talk about, oh, you survived some match darts if you go out the next round. It's when you go on and win the title. Well, Jordi will look at some of the darts from Jamie and think, you know what, if I can just get a little bit more out of that treble 20, I can get back in this match. 105. And good maths from the Dutchman. And Jamie's thrown some good stuff in this match, but he will be aware that he's had a few wides. Good adjustment. 94. Yori Rakar, 170. Six starts for 170 is a good position to be in if you're Yori Mewisa right now. And doesn't need to go for it. But goes for it anyway. Now, Jamie Caven, we saw in the last leg, he decided to lay up. It proved to be the right decision. Mewisa wasn't on a finish. Has Mewisa made a mistake here? 25. Because that 168 is a fantastic setup shot. He's missed the big number and only gets one dart. And this is all kinds of difficult. Oh, Jordi Maywissa. Going for the ball for a 170 when he didn't need to. And it has cost him that leg. Jamie Cabin. Hey, flag is Jamie to throw first. Come on. Well, when you get an opportunity to watch that leg again at home, folks, and I'm sure I will later on as well, look at the 168 from Cabin. He knows that the first start is about to drop out of the board. He's thrown. An instinctive treble 16, and he has summoned some sort of Usain Bolt type sneaker action. Got the darts out the board and pinched that leg, but in a professional way. 57. He's put the pressure on, but Jordi Mayweather did make the mistake. Look, it looks great when it goes in. One out of but he has made life difficult for himself there, and maybe that 168 from Caven. Puts the pressure on. It contributes to him missing the big number in the first place. And the end may be nigh for Jordi Maywisser. Maximum from Caven leaves the 1 2 4. And Jamie Caven, after months and months and months in the doldrums. Treble 18 will leave the button in the middle. 93. That would have 93. been a nice exclamation point on this match. But now it's treble 14. And Kevin is back 53. for 31 points 31. that separate him between him and Saturday. Double eight. Game and there it is, the Jamie Caven rounds Jamie it Kevin. off with double eight for another trademark Caven 15 data. One magical moment, the 168 setup with Maywitter going for the 170 when he didn't need to. May have just been the final nail in his coffin. It may be the final nail in Jordi Maywitter's hopes of retaining his tour guard. He'll be back to Q School for Magic Jabba, Maywitter. Jamie Caven it's second round action with Rob the Cross for Jabba, the beast from the East Midlands. Continues his resurgence. We've got two more games for you. This Jamie afternoon, Jamie. Martin Schindler, Germany's number two, although Jamie the top Jamie German Jamie here Jamie in Göttingen this weekend, takes on John Bowles. But coming up, it's simply the West, Steve West against Chris Quantock, who has his eyes on the European Championship. Happy with your game? It was a bit dodgy early on. Um, <laughs> first leg was terrible. Um, settled in after that. A couple of decent legs. I think the 168 was a big shot. Um, just his progression, just little steps. That's it. That's it. You, you, you've got a good week, actually, with reaching the semi-finals. We, we just we talked about you, you reached the, you will we, we'll play the Players' Championship finals. That's, that's, that's a, a good thing. It's progression. I, um, I knew going into the final day, I knew that I needed a semi-final and something inside said, now we do it. And I, I got to the semi-final, so it's, that's good. You, you should have said win the tournament. Yeah, of, co of course. I think, um, 
you know, going into the semi-final game, I knew I'd done enough. It wasn't like I was settling for a semi-final. I thought, now I want to win it. But it was almost like a relief because I got there. So, um, but it was good. You know, I've had a terrible year, a terrible year, for, to be fair. Um, but, you know, step by step, it's good. It's good. Let's have a good weekend here in Göttingen. Thank you very much. Jamie Caven. Er sagt, er spielt ein richtig schlechtes Jahr 2017 bislang. Das war jetzt endlich mal nach langer Zeit eine gute Woche.